In this episode, we open the new Machine Gun Kelly Funko Pop based on the tickets to my downfall album cover. Machine Gun Kelly, or MGK's real name, is Colson Baker. He started in music as a rapper. Honestly, I don't know any of his songs, but I know he did the rap bits in Bad Things with Camilla Cabello. But the thing that made me look his way was when he did Rap Devil, a song that's dissing the legendary Eminem. Some people got pissed, Eminem got pissed, and responded by making the diss track Kill Shot. MGK was this so hard and can't counter that his rap career just ended. Anyways, MGK has an acting career too. He played Tommy Lee in the Motley Crue biopic The Dirt and as Newt in Netflix Project Power to name a few. Plus life is good when you have Megan Fox as a girlfriend who's obsessed with you. He was like, you're gonna be naked tonight. And I was like, whatever you say. Daddy, whatever daddy said. Eventually, he changed genre from rap to pop punk. Think Blink-182. He released his tickets to my downfall album, which reached number one in the Billboard 200. And here we are, unboxing the pop based on the album cover. This is the part where I say, this is the front of the box. Pop Rocks number 267. One side is a window where you can see the pop. Here's the back. And the side where we see a 3D pop render of Machine Gun Kelly. The top of the box where his head is speaking. And the bottom with all the legal stuff. A bit of a disclaimer, I don't know any track from his new album. But I absolutely love the design of the pop. I'm a sucker for toys who capture the essence of the source material, especially the pose. Look at that slight head tilt. Both ears have earrings and I was thinking if they recycled the hair from one of their anime lines. As a pop rocks collector, the look of their instruments is important to me. MGK uses a Schechter pink PT guitar, the words I'm selling tickets to my downfall with the A as an anarchy symbol is written in the guitar. Funko usually don't pay licensing fees to the guitar companies so they just do their version of it. It looks like the signature guitar in one look but they remove some details like a knob or a logo. They sculpted this pearl necklace with a horseshoe but seriously. Funko has one of the worst paint apps on their toys. Lots of slop and excess paint. They got the tear in the pants and a chuck slack shoe. By the way, this pop comes with a clear acrylic stand and you can turn his head 360 degrees. That way you can achieve some cool poses by using some head turning and angling. This is what the top of his anime-like hair looks like and the copyright stuff in the sole of his shoes plus a hole where you can attach the stand. Anyways, this pop looks dope. Here he is with the Travis Barker pop. They usually do some collabs together. Funko should really start making some diorama accessory packs. I got this mic stand uh, from the Pop Mart's Vita line. Here's the two MGKs released side by side. Again, I'm not a fan of Machine Gun Kelly, but I absolutely love the design of these pops. Love him or hate him, I think this is one of the better looking pop from the Pop Rocks line. Final verdict, this pop gets a lot of hate because a lot of people dislike Machine Gun Kelly as a person. But that doesn't sway me from the fact that this is one amazing looking pop. And the reason for me is it captures Machine Gun Kelly's pose in the album cover from the scribble in the guitar to that slight head tilt. Is it a must buy? Probably not. There are better pop rocks out there. But if you like a Funko that oozes with attitude to display, 
I'd recommend this one. Thank you for watching guys. See you next time.